What's up guys, it's Stratus, and today we're going to be checking out the Farm MX from Dade City, Florida. Now this track is another great track made by T-Bell. Uh, it's been re releasing a lot of really solid tracks here recently. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is based on a real track or not. It does say Dade City, Florida, so not really sure, but we're on the TM250F. And uh, we're gonna give it a couple, couple laps. See how we could do. Now I have done a few public sessions. Totally did not mean to do that. I've done a few public sessions on this track, so it's not as new to me as some of the other tracks have been. So hopefully I can put together pretty solid video now a lot of these jumps are pretty difficult just because the landings are so steep and as you can see these bikes tend to bounce a lot so if you don't hit them just right you kind of bounce all over the place it's kind of annoying but overall graphics for this track really nice Got a lot of uh, like multiple lines for corners and jumps. Makes the racing really good on this track. And honestly, the jumps being so steep makes it. I don't know. Whoever's the most consistent will probably win the race. Whoever can downside all the jumps perfectly. Now, I've seen some people just like launch that. And all the way to those little rollers. I can't do it. I'm not that good yet. And little rollers like that will sneak up on you on this track. I think there's like two or three of them. Now corners like this one is pretty much one line. You gotta hit that inside or you kinda are forced to jump over the rut and doesn't help you out at all. <laughs> Gotta remind myself to slow down for those tabletops. Nice little roller section to a long sweeper turn and we're back where we started. Now, I'm not entirely sure where the finish line is at. I think it's the big double right there to our right. I also noticed that the uh, deformation for this track is pretty high. Let off too much. Land it. Nope. Um, so... Just kind of keep that in mind if you decide to do some public sessions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the finish line right there. That way, case. It's so hard to get the, uh, the speed and timing for some of these jumps down. I mean, you have to land on the... on the back side of the jump where you're just screwed. Still kind of getting used to these factory bikes. The back end definitely kicks around a lot easier. At least I think it does. Keep letting out. That's three this, this lap. Sorry. Trying to time these jumps. Just can't do it. Overjump that one. Come up short on this one. Not doing too hot this lap. Overjump this one. Yeah. You can just see how difficult it is. It's not like most tracks where you just kind of hold it wide open. So 
Here's the out outside. I really don't like the outside for that corner just because... Wow, okay. Just because it... The way that it kind of spits you out of the corner makes you like lose time, so... You can never really clear that triple very easily. Man, these new factory bikes do not like over jumps at all. If you land like just a little bit sideways, your bike just slides out from under you or bounces like really, really weird. <clears throat> it's probably the best way to hit that section. Not sure if you're supposed to land down there or not. Big whip. Land a little bit long, but it worked out. Let's see if we can hit this triple. Nice. Let's see if we can get a decent lap going. I don't jinx myself. Slow down for this one. Ah. Ah. Honestly, I think these bikes are even bouncier than they were in the uh, beta. At least compared to the Honda. Which, I mean, they're not bad. It's just kind of annoying sometimes. This inside. Case the triple just a little bit. I almost forgot to slow down for that roller. Like, I'm on a 250, you pretty much have to hit every jump here, like, 70% throttle. Except for this one. I don't know, maybe you do. But overall, I mean, this track's really fun. I think it... It's fairly realistic, which is kind of why I like it. I think the corners have uh, pretty nice options. Oh no. I want to land on the downside of that inside one, but just can't do it. And I'm coming up short. Saved it somehow. We'll do one more lap. Oof, that back end just kicked around. Always jinx myself. Always say, let's have a good lap, and then I immediately bin it. Let's send this jump, why not? Oh, we're done. Backflip. Land it. Ah. I saw one dude send that and actually land it, and I was... There's just no way I could ever do that. Really cool looking uh, willow trees. See if we can hit this triple clean this time. Nope. One day. Actually, today's gonna be the day.
think if I cut in... Nope, today's not going to be today. That triple's so hard, I don't know why. Probably people like Linz or Troy John can just hit it, like, super easy. Actually, I know they can. Not me, though. Come on, bike. Just randomly kick around for no reason. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this track. Um... I guess the only other thing, I mean, there's a start gate right there. I don't think there's any, like, freestyle jumps. There are some f uh, floating unicorns, though. If you uh, are into that kind of thing. Oh, there goes front end. Well, these were some awful laps, but hopefully you guys kind of get the gist of the track. Throw one last whip. Oh, that's not coming back. Yep. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, as always, the mods will be in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.